Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a rule. Together, we are building tomorrow.
of these guys. My soldiers. Someone survived that shit, which there's no way they did. I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna last. Well, we better make no stone will have our asses if he finds out someone survived and we missed them. We don't have enough people to search an area this big. Yeah, man. Has a lot of broken shit here. sign of survivors here. They have to be dead. Looks like those ghosts are the past. This island is the...
Oh, boy. There's got to be somebody. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver. Come in. Over. This is Weaver. Come in. Over. Anything? Who got? Contact! Contact! What the hell are you doing?
Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? 555, five, five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing? Ghost Lead, you can chase the White Rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go seat out.
This is dead, buddy! Yeah.
Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. Now what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. What is this place? What's going on out there? Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? Goddamn. My mind's blown. Yeah. I'm their friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, our choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell. Some kind of military takeover. Sentinel. Military contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skaltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Well, where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Cassiar wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour.
I have to spend another night in this cave, I'll blow my brains out. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. Hold. Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. Here. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver... You just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go.
Hey there. That's a hell of a rig you got there. Yeah, she's a beaut, ain't she? This is just a little maintenance work. But yeah, we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. You printed the parts? Pretty wild, huh? You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Really? This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't right. Again with this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left and joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Where's it at? It's called uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks. Take care of yourself. You had any trouble with the roadblocks? No, thank God, but I heard a bunch of us are trapped on the far side. What is Mads doing bringing soldiers into Erevan? He's brought Sentinel down on us. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, Maybe even a new suppressor. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you can sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. Sentinel would come for us, with or without them. At least now, someone can teach us how to fight. I don't want to fight. I want to go cross. But... I didn't come to this island to hide in caves. How's your pal? Hold it up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? Know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mats. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. 
If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <clears throat> there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. It's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island, without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I get now. You don't look like Skeltech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the naval station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. See ya. from Samuel? Not since last week. 
Hello, friend. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem? We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. A homesteader? It used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature, or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week? Nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well, you know. Yeah, I know. Hey, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove. Northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. I appreciate it. See you around. Because more people might die in the invasion than the occupation. Yeah, but at least this would be over. Stand it. Stay in, day out.